From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of more mornings LA late as the Federal Reserve's preferred indicator for inflation is released, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. And it shows that inflation did go higher than the prior month. Big news for the raise of your benefits and big news for stimulus. And we have a lot of stimulus happening right today. We have massive MSCs, monthly stimulus checks available for you. First, we'll be going over the exciting details of those ISCs, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. Next, those incredible FSC, Federal Stimulus Checks. These are the ones you want to get because these are tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Viewers are walking away with $200,000 on the channel. There's up to $300,000 of 300 checks for you to get. And I'm going to show you how to become a member and get these incredible checks. They're coming up in the big second half of this recording. Then LS, massive stimulus will raise the above as the biggest we've seen of a generation. Also making news today is the Atlanta Fed GDP Now. You've heard about this before. When did you last hear about it? Right at the end of the second quarter. When they said we had now posted two negatives of GDP growth and hence we were a recession. So what did they say now that we end the third quarter of the U.S. economy this year? Did they post a negative GDP growth or a positive GDP growth? All the breaking details across the board. Plus, we'll be looking into this big week and the next week thereafter, is what happens. On October 13th, the Atlanta, the massive number is going to be released that gives you an indication of how high your benefits go up. Around three days earlier, we're going to have an announcement from OPEX. Whether the OPEC country is going to cut that price of gasoline, cut the production of gasoline by 1 million barrels a day, and that could raise your benefits even more and also cause more inflation for the U.S. economy. And number three, just days around there, we're going to have the, the massive Federal Reserve meeting on top of October. Massive money, massive details, and a lot of breaking news to go over. Plus, the latest on housing, crypto, and also stocks and bonds in today's recording. The toast is toast, the butter is buttering, and the cob is brewing. We got a great show today. I'm excited you're here. It's all live, and it all starts right here, right now, on a special edition of Mornings at Light. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. The month of October is upon us, and Colin to Colleen is gone. <laughs> Whatever happened to September, it's gone. We're now into the month of October, major week underway, because within just days on October 13th, we get that CPI-W released for the month of September that would give us a guidance on how much your benefits go, go up, and we also get the COLA raise on October 13th. Days before that, we have the latest details coming in on the Federal Reserve and also the latest details on the OPEC Plus production of gasoline. Wow. Plus, we're going to have more guidance on corporate earnings today. The latest details on those is Apple and, of course, Nike shock the markets going into the weekend. And also, we'll have the countdown to the Federal Reserve speaking and their guidance on what they're going to do for the month of October <laughs> at that October FOMC meeting. Plus, massive stimulus. What do you do? You stay the big second half, you become a member, and you wait for me as we go over all these incredible checks. You deserve them. About $300,000, about 300 checks. They are FSCs, and they're just one of many, many checks I got for you in today's recording. You stay the big second half, and first, you become a member. And with that, good morning. How are you? Hope you're having a beautiful, illustrious day. And let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is the Atlanta Fed GDP Now, a tracking tool that gives you guidance on where the Fed, where the Department of Labor is going to announce GDP growth or lack of it the prior month, was released minutes ago. This number is always released right at the end, the very end of a quarter. And it's a tracking tool. It's not an official announcement. It's a 
it's an indicator predictor, and it generally has a perfect accuracy rate. So the last time we featured this number was on the very last day of the second quarter, and they had said two negative quarters GDP growth, two negative quarters of GDP growth, hence a recession. Consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth, gross national product, means a recession. Now, if you don't have a, another consecutive quarter of GDP growth contracting or shrinking, what happens? Doesn't mean a lot either way. So what did the Atlanta Fed GDP now say today, minutes ago? They said the third quarter, which ended September 30th, was a slight bit of growth. So they show a slight bit of growth in the GDP for the third quarter of this year. Does this mean there's no recession? No. Does this mean we're out of recession? No. Does this mean that people can play games with the number? <laughs> Absolutely, it does. It means they can look at the number, say that um, San Francisco hairstyles are back in style. It means they can look at the number and they can say, you can go to the beach and wave at the check. <laughs> that means you can go. It means they can go to the casino and say, now we get ice cream on sale. There's a lot of ways to play with this number, but let me tell you one of the ways you don't play with the number is trying to spin the first quarter of the year and say it was a fake reading, because a lot of analysts did that. The first quarter was a fake reading. It's a very strange analysis. I'm not going to go into it. And that the second quarter was a real reading, that they want to see this one. So I fully expect tomorrow, and you should expect as well, Analysts are going to come out and say, see, I told you so. The first quarter of this year was really not negative. It was really positive. It was adjusted because of COVID and blah, blah, blah. And the second quarter may have been negative, but the third was positive, since we're, hence we're not in a recession. What are they trying to do? <laughs> you know exactly what they're trying to have you do. Buy, buy, buy. And your answer is buy, buy, buy. <laughs> You're not buying stocks. You're not buying anything. They're trying to entice you to buy and tell you, great economy, go buy a home, buy, go buy a car, or buy some stocks. And what about those stocks? The latest details on the stock market today is just shocking. And this shows the real implosion of the U.S. economy. Massive stimulus is available for you, and in this recording, we're going to go over the massive stimulus. And yesterday, I asked you, and I'm going to ask you right now again in the live chat, get right into the live chat, I want to ask you a big question. When do you think people are going to realize they are in financial need, their financial independence is no longer there, they're struggling, and they're going to need stimulus? When do you think that reality check is going to come in, that wake-up call? I said yesterday, 90 days, and I saw someone in the in one of the live chats that just ended minutes ago. She had a great comment. She said February 2023. I love that comment. She basically said, no, I want that. She says, I think they need to go through that holiday spending. They're going to look at those January bills, and then they won't be able to afford the January bills. It's the spending that's going to spiral them out of control, said that viewer. I think that's brilliant analysis. I love your analysis, ma'am. Um, that was brilliant analysis by her. So this is very important. Why? Because you got to get all this incredible stimulus. We're going to go over all this incredible stimulus in the big second half. Promise me two things. One, you stay the big second half of this recording, because that's where all those checks are. And two, become a member. And welcome to the nearly 15 members that joined in the last 24 hours and 100 that joined in the last two days. Let's go overview of those checks right now. The first checks are FSE, passed by Congress and the President. FSE means it's federal stimulus, coming from the federal government, coming from Washington, Congress, the President. And it was started in the month of March when the President of the United States did three executive orders. And they established basically what I call on the channel, checks A, B, and C. This is federal stimulus from the federal government, paid from Washington. Your state has nothing to do with this. Your state doesn't pay it. Your state doesn't send it. Your state has nothing to do with it. It's federal stimulus. We call it FSCs on this channel. And these are absolutely incredible. Now, that those first three, A, B, and C, from the president. Thereafter, Congress came around and passed a bill. Established for the Purple Power and the members of this channel, seven other categories of checks. E through K. And thereafter... I found you more checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. Where are, they? Where are, are all these checks? There, in that membership newsletter, delivered from you, from, from me to you, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. How many FSCs do we have there? 
you in those FSCs have upwards of 300 checks, $300,000. And again, it's the, for the federal government set, paid and sent by the federal government. Wow, that's incredible. That's the first category of checks we're going over in the big second half. That's just an overview. That's not the checks. We're going to go over each of them in second in the big second half. The next checks are ISCs, Inflation and Relief Stimulus Checks. I call them ISCs on this channel. These are great. Now, they're not enough to pay your bills for two years. They're not enough to pay your bills for two months. <laughs> but they're checks, and they're, you know, $1,000. So it's good. These do come from your states, and they're absolutely incredible. We'll go over those incredible ISC checks in just a second. How do you get those information about those checks? They're in the membership newsletter for members around check D, down to D. The third category, checks, are absolutely incredible. These are what we call on this channel LSCs, Lifetime Stimulus Checks. Why? Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. For example, let's say your benefits went up 10% this year. That would be 10% of lifetime, not just this year, not just this month, but lifetime. And if and Jay Powell says inflation is going to be around next year, so that means more raise of your benefits thereafter. LSC, how much of your benefits are going to go up? What do we learn about that inflation that impacts those LSCs? We'll have the latest details on that in just a second. But first, let's start with that massive information released on Friday, that Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, the PCE released on Friday. I love this number. Why? It's a very reliable number, number one. Two, it's a great number because it gives you guidance on where inflation is. And number three, it really nearly all the time tells you what the CPI is going to look like in about two weeks. The CPI for the month of September, which we just ended, is released around, is actually released on October 13th. But you may not have to wait to October 13th because now you have that personal consumption expenditure index. And what did it say? It said that month to month it did go up. So there you go. It went up 0.6% monthly and annualized it went up 5%. Personal income rose 0.3 during that same period and spending rose 0.4 after declining 0.2. Now, wait a second. Let's look at that for a second. I didn't see that to now and I've, I've ran this number over the last day. This is interesting. So personal income, this is salaries, we had it rising 0.2 last month. Now they show it rising 0.3. Interesting. And look at that spending. Did you see that? Yeah, you, you caught that. You, you don't miss anything, do you? The income rose 0.3 and the spending rose 0.4. <laughs> yeah, this is what that viewer said. People are spending and they're not getting the message in their in their noggin. They're just not, they're, it's not processing. Their income only went up 0.3%, but they're spending 0.4%. Now, spending is not like, you know, uh, going to Tiffany's. <laughs> spending is just spending. So that's milk or eggs. It's the same milk you bought the month before, just more expensive. Um, and that's interesting. Now, the issue at hand is that 5% ain't going to work. 5%. PCE ain't going to work because the Federal Reserve has a target of 2%. So they're going to raise those rates across the board. Now, this is big news for your benefits. Why? This is analysis. Here comes the analysis. I love the PCE, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. This, why? Because this number is for August. It's not a September number. It's for August. But because it's released so late in the month, it's a, usually a perfect indicator of what the CPI in my other hand for September is going to say in just a few days from now. Yeah, so this PCE is, even though it's it says it's the month before, it's a perfect indicator of what that CPI uh, is going to look for the month of September. So on October 13th, we see that CPI. Let's go over the CPI dash W, which is what we're talking about for your benefits. Remember, July CPI dash W, 8.7. August, 8.9. And September, jump in the live chat. I want you to write what you think that CPI dash W is for the month of September. Remember, it was 8.7, then 8.9. I want to see your predictions, and we'll go over that in just a second as well. There was a lot of data that came in with that PCE on uh, uh, on Friday, 
And the data that came in, of course, was the reaction. Leah Brannard, who's the number two of the Federal Reserve under Jay, Jay Powell, said the following. Let's read the quote. And <laughs> you know what this is like? It's like, do you speak French? No, I don't speak French, but I can't understand it. You, you, are you one of those people that you don't speak a foreign, a particular foreign language, but if you hear it, you understand it? So let's see if you understand this foreign language. I'll read you the sentence and you tell me yes or no. I understand it or no. It's um, It sounds like cows talking. It sounds like sirloin talking. Monetary policy will need to be restrictive for some time until we have confidence we're back to our inflation target. Now, it may sound like a foreign language to some of you, but I believe most of you know exactly what she's saying. Let's slow it down so let's see if, I bet you can speak her foreign language. Monetary policy will need to be restrictive. What does that mean? That's the hardest one, the hardest phrase in that sentence. It means they have to raise interest rates. Okay. For some time. They have to do this for some time. How long is that some time? You know the answer because you watch the videos. I told you, Jay Powell said he's going to do this for some time into 2024 until we're confident that we have inflation back to our target. And you know this one. We've been talking about this on this channel for over a year. What is the Federal Reserve's inflation target rate? 2%. Yeah, you got it. You speak the foreign language. You know, next up, you're going to go, go, go on um, you know, a, a, a French cruise. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, great, great. Um, you know, now you can go talk with the lobsters. <laughs> Let's go to the other data that was released with that, which was that 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Not good. That's up from 55% last year. And when you look at middle income individuals, not good either. For people who are making six figures, 45% of the of them are living paycheck to paycheck. That's according to them, up 38%, up from 38% the year before. And Bank America saying 71% of Americans believe their paycheck is not enough or keeping up to date with their spending. <laughs> we just ran that. Remember, we just ran that, that they're spending more than their check than their paycheck was going up. This, my friends, is really why you have to get this forced to most check in every U.S. state. Now, let's go over these incredible checks. Three categories, of ch three massive um overview categories before we get into the subcategories of checks and they're all very 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 different the important thing for you to know is that you need to get as much stimulus as you can you need to get in your hand and get in your wallet you need to get it notice that's an active verb get it not sit around and wait for it you need to get it why because the fsc's are the big money and let's look at the success stories for those FSCs right now. We have Dragon, who's at 170, 140,000. She's now at 170,000. Yes, she's got an $170,000 of FSCs for her and her small family. Congratulations, Ms. Dragon. And she is a longtime volunteer on the community page and triple member to all three channels. Have you been watching LA too? It's a big success story. Next, Johnny, $45,000 of FSCs in two days, $80,000 in four days. We have Lorraine, $150,000 of FSCs. We have Mark, $166,000 of FSCs. And we have Deborah yesterday getting $16,000 of FSCs. She's just getting started. Great achievement for her. Now, you see these numbers. Yes, these are the numbers you need because this recession is going to be two years. It's going to be very, very difficult. It's not going to be COVID lockdown of three months. And it's not going to come of Congress passing Stimulus for small businesses, stimulus for large businesses, stimulus for airlines, stimulus for cows. It's not going to look like that. And people are going to say, where's my help? And it's not going to look like that anymore. You, however, have been watching the channel. You, however, have taken the initiative. And you are ready to get all this money right now because three things you must do right now. Get as much stimulus as you can right now and save it. Number two, cut your savings and number th cut your spending. Number three, remove all adjustable rate debt. All right, let's go into the first incredible checks right now. Checks A, B, and C. These, of course, are the first three checks passed by Joe Biden, your president, by executive action. Let's look at those incredible first three checks right now. 
A, B, and C. Just absolutely incredible. A is a $6,500 to $12,000 forced to check in every U.S. state. This is the check that Speller got, the weatherizing grant check. Now, how do you get this check? When I go over each respective check, you must, M-U-S-T, do exactly what I say. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Go right on this video and subscribe to LA1, LA2, and LA3, the three broadcasting channels to this broadcasting family. Number two, go under this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Become a member of LA1, LA2, or LA3. And then get that newsletter delivered from all three channels to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to where you see check A in the newsletter. And in the newsletter, there's a link to go right in and apply. Check A, you apply online through the newsletter. You're not done there yet. There's check B. Check B is $15,000 to $80,000. A force must check in every U.S. state. And this is the same way. Become a member, subscribe, go down the membership newsletter to you see check B. And then when you see that incredible check B, what do you do? You apply, obviously. You get that incredible check B. Now, the success stories for check B have been abounds. We have uh, two viewers out of Florida getting eighty dollars to $100,000 of that incredible check B. Absolutely huge. You're not done there yet of these first introductory checks, you're also going to go get check C. Again, these three checks, A, B, and C, passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. Huge. Absolutely incredible. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Now, how do you get this one? You go down the membership newsletter, join this channel, and at check C, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. You do it exactly like how I tell you in the membership newsletter. And I teach you 12 places to reach out and get it. So you don't call one and call quits because that is quitting. You reach out to all 12 of the 12 places. And these are people who reached out to all 12 of the 12 places. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Of course you do. Congratulations from everyone from Nisi all the way up to Nancy and Mark and Elizabeth. Congratulations. Nisi and I had a lot of fun last night. I had a special on location, a live show. I loved it, and it was very um, enjoyable, and apparently people enjoyed it as well. I, I will be delivering more of those to you in the next few days because people just sort of like a sporadic live, off-the-cuff, um, uh, on-location recording. Then, would you like some utilities? <laughs> of course you would. Uh, the utility bills for 12 months were gotten by Lingalan last week. Another viewer, 12 months, and two viewers, 14 months of rent. Here's some snap. Wow. Mark's brother-in-law has gotten $15,000 for utilities and a quarter million dollars for snap. Here's Nisi. She was at $23,000. She went to $50,000. And now other uh, viewers like Mark was at $32,000. He went to one sixty six, And from there... Lorraine was at 105, she went to 155. Yeah, Mark was at 32, then 50, then 100, then 166. And those are the first three checks, A, B, and C. Now, understand, we're still on FSCs. <laughs> Look how much money I've gotten for you. And we're just getting started. Those are the first three checks, or categories of checks, of FSCs, federal stimulus checks. Remember, these are from the federal government, paid by the U.S. government, Congress, the President of the United States, has nothing to do with your state, not paid from your state, not coming from your state. And we still got more checks to go over, and then we'll be picking up those checks in just a second. Those incredible checks are then followed up by LSCs, which we'll be going over again in the second half. We'll be going over those ISCs again in the second half, and we'll be going over the remainder of these incredible FSCs also in the big second half. Now, here is what's important to know is that there is big problems with this economy, and those big problems with this economy are being seen left and right, and they're surprising even many of us when we heard quite the opposite just days earlier. Yes, what are we talking about? Earnings recession. Earnings recession. Back in the month of Mar May, we had Walmart and Target saying the inflation and the pending recession is really hurting the U.S. consumer. They're not showing up at the stores. And you and I talked about it. You said there's less people at the checkout stand at Walmart and Target. What do you see right now? Less people at the checkout stand? Uh, right in the live chat. What do you see with Walmart and Target? So at the time, stocks crashed they, in May. They went straight down. 
when Walmart and Target reported horrible numbers. What happened after that was that disingenuous, I look for a polite word, disingenuous Wall Street analysts said bye, 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 and they encouraged people disingenuously to buy stocks in May, and they went back up. June, they went up. July, they went up. August, they went up. At the same time, they were telling their clients that the Federal Reserve was not going to raise any more rates. You and I all said this is an, an ingredient for destruction, that the markets are not embedding the risk and more interest rate spikes for the Federal Reserve and the markets are going to crash. And I predicted that among all my other predictions. And the markets crash. Now, let me tell you how significant the crash of the stock market is right now. It's not like it's one day. It's not as if it's down to the levels of, you know, February this year. It's not as simple as that. No. The best of the worst scenarios is stocks are at the 52-week low. The next worst is that stocks are at their pre-COVID lows. So they're even lower than COVID. They're even lower than 2019. But many of the stocks are now even lower than pre-COVID lows. They're now at their levels of the 1990s. If you look at a lot of these major technology stocks, you look at some of the blue chip stocks, they're actually trading at 1990s levels. Now, what I want you to do is, under the ticker that airs with the live show, which you may be watching right now, you don't get the grasp of the chart, but I want you to pull up some of these charts when you see them, when you look at Ford, when you look at in Intel, INTC, or Ford F is the, is the stock ticker. I want you to just pull up one of those charts, those graphs. Uh, you can do it with your phone. Just say, hey, phone, what, what is the chart for um, Intel? And then try to go out as far as you can on that chart and keep on going <laughs> and keep on going. And you will see, you've never seen this price for some of these stocks until since the 1990s. It's horrific. Now, what added to that? The companies that perhaps were going to give us good news are now falling apart and giving us bad news. Apple was reportedly going to have record sales of the iPhone this holiday season. I said, great for them. I'm shocked that there's consumers out there for that iPhone for $1,000 this holiday season. They That guidance came in at around August, I believe. Well, it changed last week. As now, Bank of America uh, downgraded Apple and along with other companies saying that they do not believe the demand from the consumer is there anymore. Weaker consumer demand. And they believe that, that, that those companies are not going to meet the, their target. There's also indication that Apple will not have demand at all for that iPhone sales this holiday season. The stock crashed 20% um, so far this year. Uh, is down 20% this so far this year, but it continued to, to worsen even more um, with this news. Now, Nike also a major problem. Nike says it does not have supply chain disruption solved. So it's having problems getting their shoes into the United States this holiday season. I'm on the Nike website nightly. I just like browsing. Inventory hasn't changed really that much. Has not changed. They can't get the shoes in. Meantime, when you look at the bond yields, big trouble. Massive trouble. Why? Again, I predict this is one as well. I predicted the two-year Treasury note was going to go 4%. It did. And then I predicted the 30-year bond rate the 30-year mortgage rate is going to go to a 7%. I predicted by December. It was there by the end of the week. <laughs> out of control. Out of control. No one can afford a home at 7% mortgage rate. No one can. And guess where it's going? My prediction is going to 8% by Christmas. 8% mortgage rate. Can you imagine? 7%? Can you imagine? So the housing market already in a recession is really going to take a major tumble. And this is all adding up to the question of the day. When do you think that stimulus stampede is going to happen? Jump in the live chat. When do you believe the stimulus stampede is going to happen? Do you believe that people are going to really realize that they're in big financial trouble this month, two months from now? Or is that one viewer said in February 2023? I want to see your questions and comments in the live chat. When do you believe people are going to really realize they're in big trouble I believe 90 days, but I might be a little bit premature. Now, there's a lot of things that could trigger, trigger them to realizing the trouble. It could be the debt levels. It could be the interest rates. 
It could be the layoffs, the, 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 the fall apart of labor, surging unemployment, hiring freezes. A lot of different things impact different groups and, and walks of life. But I believe that it's getting very serious already. Middle class is really getting hit badly. They're getting crushed for anyone that has any equity investment in the stock market. They're getting crushed with real estate. They're getting crushed with anything that's dependent upon any type of debt. So small business owners that have running debt, you know, the merchandise and the inventory. Yeah, lots and lots of crushing elements. And uh, I don't see hospitality doing that well. You know, restaurants and things like that. I think those numbers are down as well. So I'm putting out in 90 days. And you know what this means. You got to get that stimulus. In the big second half, we're going to go over the remainder of these incredible 300 checks of FSCs. And then we'll be turning to those LSCs. Lifetime of stimulus checks. Next up, ISCs. Inflation really stimulus checks. Coming to you. You don't have to do anything for those. Thank goodness. We'll have all that and more coming up in the second half. What do you do? You go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Power, Casino VIP. And I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As Morning Daylight continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in a beautiful morning's LA Late. And welcome to Jennifer, a brand new member who joined during the commercial break. Welcome, Jennifer. And everyone give Jennifer a beautiful welcome, brand new member to this channel. And hello, Shirley Parker, who is also in the live chat as well. As we go into the big second half, we have massive stimulus to go over. Now, let's recap the stimulus. The first three checks done by the President of the United States, and they are A, B, and C. FSCs, federal stimulus checks done by the president. We just went over those before the commercial break. Then came Congress, who did more checks. And those incredible checks from Congress are E through K. These are continuation, and they are more FSCs. And what are those E through K checks? You ready? Let's go over those incredible checks, Purple Power, starting right now. How you doing? You know, it's a little bit darker this morning. Always in the winter days, you get that darker lighting outside. Um, so it takes a while for the sun to come up on the east. But I'm so excited you're here. All right, Stimulus E. Here we go. $7,500. Wow. For a car. F, $4,000. Electric car. Even greater. Um, then we have G, 30% off. H, $2,000. Huge money. This is all for you to keep. I, $8,000. J, $8,000. Wow. And K, $14,000. That's insane. In there, you got money for a refrigerator, a furnace, a home repair, car. You got a little bit of everything. And we're not done there yet. Now, after these checks, E through K, I found you other checks. And these checks I found for you. And I'm always looking to find you other checks. I will, have, I will probably have new checks for you this week as well. These checks are about seven days old. These are L&M. That was $100,000 on average of loan interest-free money 
for the purchase of a first home. And $4,000 of grant money, free money for you, is M that falls thereafter. And really one of my favorite stimulus items. I love stimulus N. Why? About $100 towards a brand new tablet. Oh my goodness. Most tablets are less than $100, so this is great. $100 for a tablet, laptop, or desktop computer. Wow, it gets even better. Stimulus N also features free internet. This is huge. This is absolutely incredible. Then, Stimulus O, zero down payments, zero closing costs, zero uh, credit check, and zero insurance for, uh, uh, for a brand new home. And then, if you're an existing homeowner, we got refis at 3% only down and 8% of closing costs. Incredible. Those are your FSCs. Now, the totality of those FSCs, let's go over them again. The totality of the FSCs is about 300 checks and about $300,000. The largest check, $100,000. The smallest check, about $8,000. The fastest routing time, two days. You qualify. This is for you. All types of walks of life. Go get them. How do you get them? Like Jennifer. Step one, become a member. Like Jennifer. Go into this video. Join this channel. Purple Hawk. Welcome to all the upgrades, Purple Power, and other upgrades, Calcino VIP. Then, go down the membership newsletter, you see it, where you see it, A, click the link and go right and apply, B, go right and apply. You, It's all put together for you so simplistically, and there you go. And those are your FSCs. You ready for some more stimulus? Here we go. Now let's do ISCs. ISCs are not from Joe Biden, not from Congress, not from the federal government. These are from your states. ISCs are inflation relief stimulus checks. And these incredible inflation relief stimulus checks are deliciousness. Now, what is the commonality of them? One, they're about $1,000. So they're not huge sums of money. They ain't going to pay your bills for several months, but they're good money. $1,000, you're going to love $1,000 approximately. Number two, same eligibility. You know, single individual, 75000 less married couple, 150000 less. Yes, same thing as well. Number three, you have to have had a tax return generally on file. So if you don't have to file tax returns, you can voluntarily file fax, tax returns. That's like people on SSI and SSDI. You can voluntarily do it. Just go to the IRS website and, and electronically send it off. It's so easy. All of, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And finally, finally... I got it all for you. <laughs> Where is it? It's in the membership newsletter. You go down to check D, like donut, then click that button, and it'll send you into a whole massive list of these ISCs. And at each state, I will go over, I go over the state, the amount, and I give you another link to go into your state website, because every state has a website set up that explains how it works, to track it, how it's sent, every, all the details about it, it's all organized for you across the board. And those are your ISCs. We're not done there yet. <laughs> Coming up then is LSCs. And these, of course, are a lifetime of stimulus. These are absolutely incredible. This is everything we had hoped for and everything that's happening. For over two years, few of this channel were talking about SS200, SS300, raise of your benefits, and this is happening on October 13th. Your benefits get raised on October 13th when COLA is announced. Now, what is COLA? COLA determines how much your benefits go up. And once they go up, they never go down. This is what we call on this channel as a lifetime stimulus. So, for example, let's say your benefits go up 10%. That's lifetime. And then Jay Powell's already told us that next year there'll be inflation and the year after that. So that means your benefits will go up again even more the year after that and the year after that across the board. So let's go into those benefit raises right now. Some of you 5,000, some of you less, some of you more. Absolutely incredible. And it's dependent upon three months of data. And you know this because I've been teaching this you this. Those three months of data are the CPI-W for the month of July, then for the month of August, and for the month of September, which is being released on October 13th. So, I asked you early in this recording, where do you believe that CPI-W for September will be when it's released on October 13th? Write your answer in the live chat right again right now. 
We've seen answers of about 9.0, 9.1. I've seen some 9.2, some 9.3s. No one's putting this at 8 anymore. Let's recap. July, 8.7. August, 8.9. And it was earlier last month that I said I'm predicting another 8.9 month, just like my month of August, until something happened. And that something that happened was something that I said was going to happen. Gasoline. In the month of July, I taught you that gasoline always goes up in September. Why? More demand. If there's more demand, that means there's less availability. The price goes up. People back at school. People back from holidays. Number two of summer vacation travel. Number two, September's always hurricane season, and hurricane season always takes offline refineries. And when refineries go offline, then there's disruption of production. So this all happened before Hurricane Ian. Before Hurricane Ian happened, or even it developed, or even was, uh, was formulating out in the, in the Atlantic, gasoline, which had gone down, 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 suddenly started going up, up, up. And I immediately recorded that for you about two weeks ago. I said, you see what's going on? We knew it was going to happen. Gasoline started going up for the first time in three months. Big news because gasoline is part of the CPI-W. And it was the only number that was actually down in July and August. And suddenly it was going up in September. So I had said to you, I'm revising my number from an 8.9 to an 8.95, but I want to see if this gasoline continues to go up. And then Ian hit. And Ian really was much more significant than we even thought. And the refineries that went offline and the flooding that continued thereafter in neighboring states, yes, it's a major catastrophe. So the disruption of output of gasoline is there and is growing, number one. Number two, OPEC Plus meets on about October 6th or 7th, and they're reportedly going to cut production by 1 million barrels. So this is rising the price of gasoline even before they announce it because people, you know, move gasoline prices based upon future events. And number three, the demand is there as well. So over the last few days, I revised my number as we ended the month of September from an 8.9 to an 8.95 to then a 9.0. And then I said, you know, maybe it feels like a 9.1. Where am I putting it right now? I'm putting it at about a 9.1 putting it at a 9.1, based upon this massive surge of gasoline prices. And again, this is all September numbers, so what's ever happening today is irrelevant because this is up until the month, end of the month of September. Jump on the live channel and write what you're thinking across the board. A 9.0, a 9.1, a 9.3, what does this mean? Well, back when the CPI-W was 8.7, the Seniors League said your benefits are going to go up 10%. I thought that was undervaluing it then. <laughs> So imagine, with a CPI-W at a 9 and not at an 8, what do you think this raise of your is going to come in at? Some viewers are saying 13%. I saw someone say 13%, and I saw the number, and I'm like, are they referring to the CPI-W? No, they're not referring to 3.0. They're not saying 3, 13%. Th they're not saying a 13.0 CPI-W. They're saying 13% raise of your benefits. You know what? Um I, I, it's possible. It's absolutely possible. That raise of your benefits is not apples to apples. So when we see that CPI-W go, you know, from an 8.7 to now a 9.1 maybe, it, it, it could raise your benefits a lot more than I'm even I'm projecting. So this is looking incredibly great news. Now, what do we have coming up this week? This week, you need to do the following. This week, you need to, one, watch all the shows. Please watch all the shows. The shows do not overlap in content. There's breaking news on the hour, by the hour, and new shows are joining this channel by the minute. And yes, I teased it, I think, yesterday in just a Freudian slip, but it was not a really Freudian because it was actually true. One of your favorite shows is coming on back. <laughs> what is it? Holidays LLA. Yes. Ho Holidays LA, which originally aired uh, last year, which last year and the year before aired at the home section at 11 o'clock, will be coming back. And so home LA will become Holidays LA, LA once again. I know it's not Christmas yet, but it's that holiday season. And it's certainly co uh, core for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the picking. Meantime, your great shows that I promised for LA2 and LA3 are getting rolled out on them as well. We got the cooking shows coming to LA3. We got the humor shows coming to LA2. 
I need you to jump over to those two channels. So the way you do it is you go to LA2 and LA3 and just subscribe at least. If you want to become a member as well, congratulations. That's great. We have a lot of new members on LA2 and LA3. Subscribing is important because you will get the notification when there's a video on LA2 and LA3 because I may not remember to send you the notification on LA1. I know there's a lot of shows. LA2 is humor. LA2 is stimulus. LA3 is the markets, crypto, and LA3 is food. And I haven't rolled out that food shows, and they're already taped, so they're going to be a lot of deliciousness. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, have a beautiful morning. Thank you for joining me. Coming up next, if you're watching the show live, is noontime at, or home, I guess you'd say, at 11 a.m. Uh, and if you're in the live stream, well, welcome. And then join me throughout the day as the programming continues. Meantime, uh, keep on getting those incredible stimuluses. Keep on getting all those incredible stimuluses. And tell your friends and family, come on over. Hashtag stand for stimulus. Hashtag stand for stimulus. Get all that incredible stimulus. It's all for you. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful morning. And stay with Ally for more. <laughs>